Hello viewers, welcome to Ghani SK YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create Stair Z Pan S74 in Tecla Structures. Let's start. Open your Tecla Structures with US Environment. First, we are going to create columns, so click on Steel, select Column. Pick the position to create the column. Right click on mouse, click on interrupt to exit the command, to edit the column, double click on it, now we are going to change the column height, let's take top level 15 feet, bottom level 0, click on modify to see the result, select the column, pick the position to place the column with same properties, Now we are going to create the beams, click on beam, pick the first position, pick the second position. Do the same procedure to create the remaining beams. Click on interrupt to exit the command, to create the stair, we need to take reference point it here, so click on edit. Pick the point subcategory, select at any position, pick the position at midpoint of beam. Drag and select this point, right click on mouse, select move special, linear. In the x direction let's take 1 feet to move. In the z direction let's take 5 inch move. Click on move and OK. To place this tear, click on Application and Components. Type here ZPAN. Select ZPAN S74 component. Pick the first position. Pick the second position. Press mouse scroll button to create stair. Click interrupt to exit the command, click on redraw view to refresh the model. Now stair created like this. Now we are going to edit the stair. So double click on stair to move this stair component window. Use this screen controller. If you don't have this screen control, I have explained how to download and install screen controller in my previous tutorials. Go to my channel and watch it. Click on window, click on arrows to move the window. This 3 feet 3 inch indicates the spacing between stringer to stringer. If you want to change the spacing, you can change it here. By using this option you can change the spacing between first pick point to edge of the first step. By using this option you can adjust the spacing between step edge to stinger edge. For shaded view, use the shortcut, press Ctrl, 2. By using this option you can control this step height. By using this option you can adjust the length of this stringer. Let's take 1 feet 2 inch. Click on modify to see the result.
this quail option indicates the step height equal throughout this tear. Click on stair setup, this box indicates the stringer profile. To change the stringer profile, click on here, you can choose the stringer profile from this list as per design. Click on apply, OK. Click on modify to see the result. You can change the orientation of the stringer from this list. You can choose different bracket placement option from this list, let's take this option. Click on ZPan tab. If you click on redraw view, you should select this stair in the model, then change the component option, otherwise option will not apply in the model, you can change the Z step profile as you required from this options, for example, you can change the step lip form this option. Let's take 1.5 inch. Click on modify to see the result. Step lip increased. You can change step thickness from this option. Let's take 1 8 inch. Click on modify to see the result. Similarly like that you can change remaining option as per requirement. At the bottom step, we have two different options to use with lip and without lip, you can choose as you prefer from the list. Click on horizontal bracket tab. You can change the bracket profile from this option. Click on here. You can choose the bracket profile form this list as per design. Select the bracket profile, click on Apply, OK. You can increase the bracket length form this option. Currently bracket is welded to this step and stringer as well, if you want to create bolted connection between bracket to stringer. Click on here and select bolted connection symbol. Select the bolt size 1 half inch here, enter tolerance 1 16th inch. Enter the edge distance 2 inch. Enter number of bolts 2, enter spacing between bolts 4 inch. Enter edge distance in width wise 1 inch, click on modify to see the result. Bolts are created just like this. For welded connection, select this welded symbol. To create the bolted connection between bracket to step, click on here and select bolted connection, currently I preferred welded connection. If don't required the top step, click on stair setup. 
you can choose this potion. Click on modify to see the result. If you want to remove this profile also. Select this option, click on modify to see the result. Now we are going to increase this step. Click on Z-Pan tab. Let's take 18 inch. Click on modify to see the result. Now step profile length increased. Click on Modify, Apply, OK. Now we are going to create bottom connection for this stair. For render view, use the shortcut, press Shift, 4. Click on Application and Component. Type here Stair. Scroll it down. Select Stairs Detail 1038 Component. Select this option. Pick the stringer, pick the position. Now connection is created. To edit this connection, double click on Component Symbol. From this option, you can increase or decrease the connection length from pick point to inside edge of this plate. From this option, you can increase or decrease the connection height from pick point to inside edge of this plate. Click on Plates tab. From this option, you can change the thickness of the plate. From this option, you can change the width of the plate. By default, it will take same as stringer width. Click on Bolts tab. To create bolts, click on here and select bolts. Tick mark here. Select the bolt size 3 fourths inch. Enter the tolerance 1 8 inch. Enter edge distance 2 inch in width wise, click on modify to see the result. Better to take 1.5 inch, click on modify. If you enter number of bolt 2 in width wise, click on modify to see the result. Better to take number of bolts 1, click on modify. Enter length wise edge distance 2 inch. Number of bolts to, spacing between bolts 4 inch, click on modify to see the result, you will get like this, now we are going to change the values. With this procedure you can change values as per design. Click on Modify, Apply, OK. To create the studs bottom of the connection, select this option, double click on this connection. Click on Bolts tab, select here studs form the list, click on Modify. Now studs are created.
just like this. Let's take bolts, click on modify. Apply, OK. Now we are going to create the same connection at here, click on application and components, select this component, select option. Pick the stringer, pick the position to create the connection. Just like this. Now we are going to create the connection at here. Click on application and components. Type here stringer. Scroll it down. Select stringer base connection component. Pick beam, pick stringer to create the connection. To edit the connection, select this option, double click on connection. You can change the gap between parts from this option. You can change the gap between parts from this option. You can change the distance form center of beam to edge of the plate from this option. You can change thickness of the plate at here. Click on Modify, Apply, OK. To create the same connection at here, click on Application and Component, select this component. Select this option, click on beam, then click on stringer to create the connection. That's it about how to create stair with ZPAN S74 component in Tecla structures. If you have any doubts, please comment below. If like this tutorial, please like it and share it. For more Tecla structures related tutorials, go to my channel youtube.com slash GaniSK. I will provide channel link in the description, go through it, and come here, please click on subscribe button, if you subscribe you will get notification or updates, when I upload a new tutorial, thank you.